You can find all sorts of underutilized storage spots around your house. Some tucked discreetly away and others on bold display. In this video, you will learn of places around your house that you can use for storage. Tip number one is to use the space under the stairs to store things. Just take your time and look at this photo. The one, the image which is on the left hand side, you could see the stairs and you could see underneath the stairs which is completely empty, it has nothing. So this is completely wasted space and if you look at the image which is on the right hand side, is under the stairs has been used. They have built a bookcase and they have put sitting area and it looks really nice. So the space has been utilized in a very efficient way. If you don't have anything built underneath your stairs, it's very easy. All you have to do is frame it, put shelves and put doors, and then you can store coats, you can store shoes, you could store anything that you like. My next door neighbor has allowed me into their house to show you guys what they have stored underneath of their stairs. These stairs that I'm walking in, they go down three floors. And the stairs, they end up inside of a garage. So they have a small space and uh, they have stored some things. As you could see here, they have a vacuum cleaner, they have some equipment, so they have a pressure washer, they also have a washing machine and they have some cutting tools. It's a small space, but as you could see, they have utilized it. Tip number two is to add furniture to your hallways that offer storage space. Most people have hallways inside of their house and these areas are excellent for you to put furniture and to store things inside. And this way you keep everything out of sight and everything looks very nice and it looks well decorated. Just take your time and look at this photo. The image that is on the left hand side, the piece of furniture doesn't have any storage space at all. So this would not be good for you to store anything. And then the image that is on the right hand side has a lot of drawers and it has a lot of storage space. So this would be an excellent piece of furniture for you to put on your hallways. For example, this piece of furniture that you see here, they sell it in Ikea and it's used for you to store your shoes. And it's very nice because it doesn't look like a place that you store shoes, it just looks like a regular bookcase. This bench that you see here has storage space. You could put shoes or you could put anything you want and it also has a place for you to sit down. So you could sit down and put your shoes or take your shoes off and store them inside of the bench. So this is another piece of furniture that would be good for being in a hallway. Just take a look at this photo. This is what I can call creative storage space. They have added a bench to the hallway. Now the bench has no storage at all. So they have add baskets underneath and they have put labels on each of the baskets with each of the family member names. So each person has their own basket where they can put their shoes on. So to me, this is very nice and this is very clever storage space. This is another example. There's another table that is on the hallway. It has two drawers, so you could store things inside of the drawers. You could put things on top of the table for decoration, and then underneath the drawers, you have another space to store things. So again, I'm inside of my neighbor's house. They have allowed me to film, and uh, this is their hallway. They have a lot of furniture in here, as you could see, and they have a lot of things stored inside. As you could see, they have a lot of shoes in here. And then they have another piece of furniture that I'm gonna show you, which is this dresser. It has two drawers, which they have a lot of things in here. And in then underneath, they have two doors, and they also have a lot of things stored inside. Tip number three is to use your ceilings to store things. Just take your time and look at this image. The image which is on the left hand side is a garage and as you could see, the ceiling is completely empty. It has nothing but a ceiling fan. So, so much wasted space. If you look at the image which is on the right, on the right hand side, you can see that it's a garage. They have placed brackets in the ceiling and they're storing a lot of boxes on them. So this is an excellent way of utilizing all of that wasted space. 
Just take your time and look at this photo. This is a ceiling bracket. They sell so many different types of brackets out there, but this is a good example of what it looks like. And they sell these ones in your local hardware store. I mean, if you're in the US, you can go to a Home Depot. If you're anywhere else in the world, you can check in your local hardware store and ask them for brackets that get attached to the ceiling of your garage. Again, I am inside of my next door neighbor's house. This is a farm. And as you could see here, they have pipes attached to the ceiling of their garage. They don't have brackets. Now, in these pipes, these people are storing things. As you could see, they have some metal bin, like some metal pipes that they're storing here. Um, this is uh, also a little thing. This blue thing that you see here is for your knees when you're doing gardening. They have it on top of the pipes. And as you could see here, I am going to zoom in. And this is a wire mesh that they use for, um, for securing an area in the garden. So these people are utilizing their pipe to store things up on the ceiling. They don't have brackets, but at least they're using the ceilings to store things. Tip number four is to use the space under your beds to store things. Just take your time and look at this image. The image which is on the left hand side, as you could see under the bed, there's absolutely nothing. So there's a lot of things that you could store in there, but there's nothing. So it's a wasted space. If you look at the image which is on the right hand side, they have add drawers and they're utilizing the space. So they're storing a lot of things in there. So this is a smart way to use your space. If you look at this image, they also have placed a drawer underneath the bed and they have shoes inside of it. So this is another way that they're using all this wasted space under the bed and they're storing whatever they cannot find storage for in their house. If you see this image, it has a bag that has storage. Now it has a zipper and you can put your shoes inside and then you close it. So this is another great way to store things under your bed and utilize the space. If you look at this image, it has some plastic containers that have wheels. Now the wheels roll in and out. So this is very good because they also have a lid. So you could see what's inside and whatever you have inside is not going to get dusty. So this is another great way to utilize the space under your bed to store whatever you cannot find storage space around your house. As you could see in this image, they also have put drawers and these are excellent because they keep things out of sight. You can't see what's inside. As you could see, the drawers are exactly the same color as the frame of the bed. So it looks like something that was built in. They have little wheels. They roll in and out and you could keep whatever you want underneath your bed and utilize the space. As you could see in this image, they also have plastic containers. This is not really see-through, it's like white plastic. They have two of them under the bed and they're storing things. So again, they're utilizing this otherwise wasted space and this is a smart way to store things. Tip number five is to use your walls to store things. Just take your time and look at this image. The image which is on the left hand side, as you can see, there's a wall, but the wall is empty. There's nothing on the walls, so there's so much wasted space. If you look at the image on the right hand side, they have placed brackets on the wall and they also have placed shelves and they're storing a lot of stuff inside. So that's a very smart way to utilize your walls to store things. As you could see on this photo, they're storing all of their work tools on the wall. They have the ladder, they have a saw, they have a drill, they have a toolbox. They have a lot of stuff here. So this is a smart way to utilize your walls to store things. As you could see on this photo, they have installed brackets on the wall. They have wire shelves and they're storing a lot of toolboxes and a lot of tools like paint, things that they need. I'm pretty sure this is a garage, but they're utilizing their walls to store things. As you could see here, they have installed a pegboard to the wall. They have brackets and they have shelves. And this is another great way to store things on your walls. 
Another great idea is if you cannot find pegboards in your local hardware store, you can build your own. As you see here, they're using a piece of plywood. With a drill, they have open holes and they're going to put pegs inside of the holes and then they're going to put shelves and then they're going to store things on top of it. And this is how that DIY pegboard looks like on the wall. As you could see, they're storing a lot of stuff in here and it looks very beautiful and it's a DIY that it doesn't take that much time to make. As you could see here in this kitchen, they have installed a pegboard to the wall and they're storing their pots and pans in here. Again, this is my next door neighbor's house. Like I said before, they allowed me to go in here and film. They have attached brackets to the wall. This is inside of their garage and they have placed a, sh a shelf and they have a lot of cleaning supplies on top of it. And moving along to the other side of the garage, they have these uh, hooks on the wall and they have coats hanging here. So again, they're utilizing the walls to store things. Tip number six is to buy furniture that has space to store things. Just take your time and look at this image. The image which is on the left hand side has a couch that the sitting area opens and you could store things. And if you look at the image on the right hand side, it has a couch that offers absolutely no storage space. So it would be better if you invest your money in a piece of furniture that you could store things. Just take your time and look at this image also. It has a bed that when you lift the mattress up, you can store a lot of things in your bed. This is a very, very smart way to use your bed to store things. Just look at this image. It has a sectional couch and part of the seating area opens up. So you could put your throw pillows or blankets in here. So this is another excellent piece of furniture to invest your money in because you could store a lot of things inside. In this image, we have an ottoman, which the top goes up, which is the sitting area, and you can store blankets or you can store games, whatever you wish. So this is another piece of furniture that is a good idea to spend money in buying because it offers a lot of storage space. In here, we have a coffee table that has two drawers, one to the right and one to the left. So this is a good idea to invest your money in a coffee table that offers storage space. Now this that I'm showing you here is the living room of my house and I have a small trunk and I'm using this as a coffee table. As you could see it has a lot of storage space. So I have invested in furniture that I could store things inside. And in here I have another trunk which is a larger one and I use this to store things because my sectional couch is actually a sleeping bed. So I have blankets and I have pillows. Tip number seven is to use your attic to store things. Just take your time and look at this image. The image that is on the left hand side is an attic, which as you could see, it has absolutely nothing. Nothing is built in it. And there's a lot of space in here. So this is all wasted space. If you see the image on the left hand side, it's the same attic. They have added shelves and they have stored a lot of things. As you could see, they have utilized the space in a very efficient way. If you have an attic that doesn't have anything, you can start building shelves and then you can store a lot of things on top of it. In here you have the same shelves and they already have uh, plastic boxes and they have other stuff that they're storing. These are seasonal items and as you could see now they're utilizing the space in a very smart way. This is another example here of another attic. In here they did not add any shelves they placed all the boxes and all the containers on the floor because they put plywood to cover all the insulation. So this way you have a place to walk in that is not the insulation and you can also store things. The same goes for this attic that you see here. It has plywood on the floor and you could walk and you could store your boxes just on top of the plywood, one box on top of the other. That would be enough and you're still utilizing your attic in a very efficient way. Now this is my house and I happen to have the attic. The access to the attic is inside of my walk-in closet. As you could see, this is the inside of my attic and as you could see, I have a lot of stuff in here. I don't have anything on the left-hand side. As you could see, all the insulation is there. 
because I really don't need that space to be used in that area. And this is the right side of my attic and as you could see I have a lot of stuff in here. I have seasonal stuff like I have all of the Easter stuff, I have all of my fall ornaments, Christmas ornaments, I have Valentine ornaments, I have a lot of stuff in here. And this is still the right hand side of my attic. As you could see I have shelves, but these are not shelves, these are wood crates and I have, I have put one wood crate on top of the other. To create a shelving system but this shelving system is not attached to anything so I could remove this at any time that I want and in here I'm storing all of the small items that I have thanks for watching this video and don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one you're free to share this video with your family and your friends and thanks for watching